Okay, so I have Ivy here, and I have a bark box with some toys that I got from Pets Place Plus. She's already destroyed them. <clears throat> But I want to do a little basic unboxing and kind of review of the BarkBox toys. This is Super Chewer, so they should be strong. These are Super Chewers as well. So this one is a toy hiding treat, or treat hiding toy. It's called the Mushroom or the Shroom. And you can put treats in it for your dog to find. I did notice one problem. When you first get these, there's like a bunch of powder stuff that comes off and it's really annoying and it makes the toy kind of gross. But Ivy doesn't really care for it unless it has streets. So. And these have been uh, used well. One of these is probably on its way out. These were the gerbil which is a rip and reveal toy. She has ripped both of them off. She really liked these. Our old dog really liked these before he passed. Um, they would fight over them. That's why I have two. I will say, when they do have the covering on them, they look closer to a hamster than a gerbil. And the skeleton is really cute, but it looks like an isopod, so, you know. Yes, the dog really likes these. Sorry. And then, this was my first Super Chewer box, so it is the Double Deluxe. And I am part of the extra toy, whatever it is, so I do get the extra toy. I already opened this last night. She already used and played with some of these toys last night, but this is kind of the experience we had. We did end up with the mom paw. There were a couple bags of the jerky. I have not tried these yet. I did try one of these this morning, and she seemed to like them. Um, they do have a, a very strong smell, and they're a little soft. Softer than I was expecting, at least. And then there were these. I did not try the pork one, but she did enjoy the duck one. I tried to put the duck one in the um, treat toy, and she took it out immediately before I even had the chance to give it to her. So... Ivy liked it. And there's three of those. I haven't tried this yet. I assume it will be good. She does like pumpkin. But yeah, there's that. And then the toys. Let's start here. This has been her favorite one since I opened this box. This is the corn. And yeah, she, she really likes this one. I also like it because it does remind me of the carrot from Bolt. And as a kid who grew up on Bolt, it's very nice to see a corn version for my puppy. It's like, why'd you put all my toys back in the box? This is probably her next favorite. This is the ham bone. This covering is probably going to get cut off soon so that she doesn't eat any of it. This did not last nearly as long as the Rip and Reveal gerbils or I have it somewhere in the house. I don't know where, but I do have the cheese brawl. So this covering did not last long. Um, you can put treats in it. I have not done that yet. Because she just wants to destroy the outside. But yeah. It did look cute. Now it's a little... A little destroyed. But it's okay. Alright. This is the only other toy that she has actually interacted and played with for any length of time. 
And that was just this morning, and this is the tire. The strap is not rope, which is really nice because Ivy will eat the rope. So that's, that's very helpful. Yeah, it's just your basic tire. I assume you can smear, like, peanut butter or pumpkin on the inside of this. Make it a little bit of a, a treat toy. Or she can just chew on it. But she's not too interested. That's okay. Like I said, I did try to put a treat through this, and she immediately took it out. She has not revisited this toy much after that to interact with it, really. Um, I would like to put some peanut butter along the outside just to see what she does. Probably keep her interest a little bit. Maybe throw it in the freezer after that, too, just to make it a little bit longer lasting. It does have a nice smell. Most of these toys do, actually. I don't mind the smell of them. It's a little fuzzy. But yeah. That's a little apple. I, I didn't think it was an apple. I just thought it was like a Kong type toy at first. <laughs> oh well. And then this is the last one. This is the ice cream. I would like to know what this divot is in the top and what that's supposed to be for. She has not interacted with this at all. I've tried to get her interested and she just doesn't. Maybe, maybe the divot's for the apple or something. No. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah. This one doesn't squeak easily. The corn, on the other hand, does. Like I said, I, I do have a few toys already from BarkBox because I wanted to try them before I committed to any sort of sub uh, subscription. But yeah, they're good. They're decent. They last enough time that I think they're worth it. And there, there's a good variety of toys. That's nice. I, I will probably try to do an unboxing next time I get a box next month. But for now, this is it. Yeah. And yeah, this was the Mom Paws Farm. Not the uh, 420 box that does exist. Which is nice. Okay. That's that. Just wanted to make a little video. Ivy is here. So. Alright. Are you true? No. It's too early for this. Alright. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.